Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com, and I've got the Sigma 30mm 1.4 in for a review. It's a nice uh, prime, so it's very fast. 1.4, you can do a lot in low light, and you can get just wild depth of, you know, really shallow depth of field. Uh, coming in at 30 millimeters, it's a good um, kind of portrait lens um, on a crop sensor, whereas like a, uh, if you had a 50 millimeter on a full frame, that would be kind of the equivalent. Uh, nice portrait lens. So this lens will work well on a Canon T2i, a T3i, a 60D, 7D, I'm not sure if it'll work on a full frame sensor that well like on a 5D. So it's a really nice solid construction uh, if you compare it to let's say my fantastic plastic uh, 50 millimeter 1.8 that I've got from Canon. It definitely has a better feel to it and it's got a nice big focus ring. It also has a really nice lens hood, you know, the kind that when you put it on snaps and you know it's on there and it's not gonna fall off, I really like that. So this first test, I'm gonna compare how fast uh, it can focus in low light or actually more a low contrast situation. Cause usually when you're looking to hunt for focus, you find something of high contrast, a light and a dark object. In this case, I'm going to do it with a very dark object that doesn't have much to grab onto in terms of contrast. I'm gonna to try to foc focus on this. And this next one, I'm gonna do it for the my Canon 50 millimeter, and you'll notice that it never acquired, it couldn't, it couldn't do it, so the Sigma definitely beat it out on the focus speed. So next up is the sharpness test. I went and took a picture of a, several pictures of a brick wall with my Canon 50 millimeter and I compared it to the Sigma 30 millimeter. Uh, shot wide open, right in the center. So let's look at the center first. And I think the Sigma definitely wins in the center at 1.8, which is most important. And if you compare it to 1.8 in the corner of the, you know, of the frame, You'll notice that they're both pretty soft, but really doesn't matter at 1.8 in the corners. Um, when I'm shooting at 1.8, I usually don't care what's in the corners that much because they're usually just wildly out of focus. Um, and then the next test I did was the uh, in the center at 4.0. I think the Sigma definitely won out there. And then I did the... Uh, the, the brick wall again at 4.0 in the corners and actually I think in that case the Canon kind of won out in the corner. Okay in the last test I did I noticed that the when you change the aperture on the Sigma it kind of makes s some more noise than I'm used to so go ahead and take a listen to it and I'm going to compare it to the Canon as well. So basically it's not too bad. Basically what is is the aperture uh, blades are closing down or opening up and that's kind of that noise you're hearing. It's just a little bit louder on the Sigma. Thought I'd bring that to your attention. So that's pretty much it. Um, overall I'd say it's a great lens, especially at 1.4, really fast. Gives you lots of opportunity with that prime lens. Prime is very important for video. So keep that in mind and we'll talk to you guys later. All right, see ya, bye.